everyone this is bhuneshwari devraj assistant professor pg department of mathematics kesa college of arts and science forman tirchangod in this video we will discuss about some basic concepts of vector spaces and modulus in modern algebra 2 in abstract algebra we will learn about a variety of structures called as groups rings field and vector space first of all what is mean by group A group means a set with one binary operations, and it is satisfies closer associative existence of identity and existence of inverse properties. Definition of abelian group: the abelian group is also called as commutative group. Take any two non-zero elements, namely A and B, in a group G, then A dot B is equal to B dot A is called as abelian. Next one definition of ring. A ring means a set with two uh, binary operations, and it is satisfies a ring under addition is abelian group, and ring under multiplication is semi group, and also satisfies distributive laws. The study of vector space is often called linear algebra. A vector space V is a set that is closed under finite vector additions and scalar multiplications this subject has a wide range of applications but vector space can be generalized into uh, something even more powerful the modulus the modulus is generalization of a vector space so before we jump into the definition of modulo let's take a moment and remind ourselves what is vector space it is an abelian group v and we call the elements of these groups are um, vectors it is also uh, came with the field of scalars ef we can multiply by a vector v by a scalar f and the result is an another vector we usually write the scalars on the left side next you see the axioms of vector space the non empty set v is said to be a vector space v over the field f if it is satisfy the following conditions first one v um, is a vector space and our addition is an abelian group second one alpha into u plus v is equal to alpha u plus alpha v third alpha plus beta into u which is equal to alpha u plus beta u fourth alpha into beta u which is equal to alpha beta into u here alpha and beta are said to be the scalars which is belongs to the field f and um, u and v are said to be a vectors which is belongs to the vector space v last one 1 one dot u is equal to u where one is represented the unit element of f and the multiplications next one modulus a modulo is the uh, same way and um, so if we go through and replace f with r here r for ring and replace v with m here m for modulo uh, we use this word uh, element instead and notice that we multiply by the scalars on the left for this reason we will hear some people call this is a left modulo if we were to multiply by the scalars on the right side we uh, we would call it is a right modulo but most of the time we will just hear the word modulo a modulo is a vector space except the scalars or ring alternatively we would say a vector space is a modulo where the scalars or a field just as group can have a subgroups ring can have a subring and vector spaces can have a subspaces and also modulus can have a submodulus the idea and notation is the same if m is modulo and um, uh, with the scalars of um, and ring or then submodulo is the subgroup of m and here uh, an example for submodulo and uh, modulus in z the multiples of 3 forms a z modulo and the multiples of 6 are z submodulos and also the multiples of 9 are another z submodulos in fact this modulus has a infinite number of submodulos 
definition of homomorphism here u and v are the two non uh, z non empty uh, sorry non zero vector space over the field f then the mapping p is mapping from u into the vector space v is said to be a homomorphism if it is satisfies two condition first one u1 plus u2 of t which is equal to u1 t plus u2 t next one scalar multiply by u1 of t which is equal to alpha into u1 of t for all u1 and u2 are said to be a vectors which is belongs to the vector space u and alpha belongs to the field f next linearly dependence and independence if v1 v2 abd etc vn this collection of vectors uh, is belongs to the vector space v are said to be linearly dependent then there exists a scalar c1 c2 abd etc cn not all zeros such that the linear combinations c1 v1 plus c2 v2 of d etc plus ck vk which is equal to 0 as at the same time um, if the collection of vectors v1 v2 of d etc vk uh, in a vector space v are said to linearly independent then there exists a scalar c1 c2 of d etc cn are all zero such that the linear combination c1 v1 plus c2 v2 x2 plus c k v k equal to 0 next one uh, basis and dim uh, dimension a set of vectors in a vector space v is called a basis if the vectors are linearly independent and every vector in the vector space is a linear combination of this set First of all, basis means it satisfies two conditions. First one, linearly independent and linear span. Next definition is dimension. Um, let the vector space V over the field F be the finite dimension vector space. Then the number of elements in any basis of V is called the dimension of V. And it is denoted by dimension of V. So dimension means number of elements in a basis. For example, dimension of null space is 0. Because null space means it contains uh, 0 uh, elements. Next, orthonormal and orthogonal set. Orthogonal means uh, take any two non-zero elements called u and v in a vector space v. Then u is said to be orthogonal to v if it is satisfies condition u v equal to 0. Next, orthonormal set. The set of vectors v i in a vector space v is an orthonormal set. Then it is said to be two condition. It is satisfies two conditions. First one, um, if uh, i equal to j, then then each vector's length is 1. Uh, next one, for i not equal to j, then each vector's length is 0. Last one is field. We know that every field is a ring. Ring means it is satisfies ring under um, addition is abelian and ring under multiplication is semi group and distributive laws are satisfies. Here field means um, it is satisfies field under addition is abelian group and also field under multiplication is also satisfies abelian group and uh, it is also satisfies distributive properties. So, um, these three uh, conditions are satisfied, the uh, non-empty set F is said to be a field. Here, uh, a field is a commutative division ring. Division ring means a non-zero element forms a group under multiplications. So, that's all. Thank you for watching. We will see the next video.